ating kasama si, si Sir Mike si Sir Kian 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 parang Keanu Reeves eh Singapore that's yung ano signature ay yung mall wow oh yan yung kanya ah mall na pala mismo yan ano? sa tabi lang niya may underground na dali ah mall so mall saka casino so baba ba pa isang floor convention center mall casino um itong paikot na yan yung merlion ayun o no? nakita may bumubuga doon yan ang nailalakad ng pinupunta ng mga tourist saan? yan yung hotel Fullerton ah ito mo yung sa bandang right side niya okay may bumubuga ng tubig Para oh, okay. Kita ko na yan. Yan, yan. yan yung Merlion. Merlion. So, Ayan na yung sa mga poster. So, kumbaga, lalakarin mo yan. Puro lakad dito eh. Oo. Oh. Dadaan ka dun sa yelo, yung may kulay-kulay na bridge na yun. Okay. DNA bridge yun. DNA yung design niya. Oh. Nagpapalit ng kulay. Tapos pakaliwa. Oo, oh, pakaliwa ano. paikot. Tapos paikot ka na lang. Pagbalik mo, butong ka na ulit. Oo, oh, sigurado. <laughs> kontakin ko si ano. Hintay-hintay ko message ni ni Vic. Tapos Hi, this is Cam, your friendly sleep tech. Alright, let's go towards the location of the CPAP. When you have a CPAP, make sure that it's close by the bed and that it's on a stable hard surface, not anything soft like um blanket or pillows or even paper for instance the top of magazines because even though the bottom of the humidifier is protected uh, but you can never tell if there's any short circuit that happens or whatnot and so make sure that wherever you put the CPAP on that it's sturdy hard surface okay. but first of all sorry for my attire I kind of thought about doing this last minute, but I figured it might help some people who are travelers uh, and those that are have multiple residences. So here comes my pointers. Next thing you wanted to do is, is that you avoid putting on the power brick close to your device. Uh, for one is that these devices have multiple sensors to accommodate for humidity, humidity setting, etc. And so the heat that might come off from the brick or the power supply might affect the sensors or how effective it could work. Obviously, I'm not using a climate line or um, automatic uh, type of heated tubing. I'm just using a simple slim line, which is very light, easy to travel with, and doesn't have any drag on the mask. Hi, this is Ken. This is your sleep tech. And I just want to give you some advice regarding traveling with CPAP or auto CPAP or whatever type of PAP that you might be using. Now, there's many other considerations that you must remember when you travel with your PAP device. For one, if you're carrying a luggage, then it's best to uh, protect your machine by putting it on its own bag with extra cushion surrounding your device. However, I strongly recommend that you hand carry your device simply because you can protect it better for when you put it on the top there of the of your seat or under the seat or top of the cabin. Now, when it comes to tubing, if you are using a full face or a nasal mask, you can do the setup where the hose goes up on top of the pillow and then you have the mask attached to the hose on top of your head. However, since I'm using a nasal pillow mask, since it has an additional soft tubing short with it, then it's hard to do that because if you have this on top of your head, this additional tubing that's already attached to the mask will col collapse on your face. Therefore, it's better to just put it towards the side. And whichever side you sleep on, make sure that you have enough slack for when you put this on your face. And if, you're, if you turn to your left or right side, that you'll not pull on the mask and pull on, creating some leak. Okay? So, 
another major consideration is for you to carry your international or multi-plug type of adapter in case you go into uh, countries that have a two-prong socket or an odd looking socket in which you might not be able to use your device unless you have that however if you're in a hotel typically you can request it from the concierge or from the information desk Then you have the water issue. It's best to use distilled water because it doesn't leave any residue on your humidifier tub. However, if you run into any situation where you don't have any access to a distilled water, then just use uh, a bottled water, making sure that in the morning you empty out your tub and you wipe it clean so that you'll prevent any buildup of that white mineral uh, inside your tub. Case in point, we are in Singapore and so they're pretty used to many different types of travelers so this type of socket can actually accommodate different uh, adapters or either two prong or three prong. So traveling with a PAP, CPAP, auto CPAP, it's not too hard. If you have a nice size backpack you can actually put your CPAP on your luggage I usually put my um, my CPAP in here along with some of my clothes so it stands up here with the power cord and the tubing with my mask then I have my laptop then I have some of my other gadgets on the front and I'm good to go now if you are going to some remote type of areas then you might want to consider carrying an adapter for a solar panel or battery and they're available just go online so just like everything else if you're traveling and you're a, a CPAP or APAP or ASV whatever device you use the key is to prepare make your checklist make sure that you have your device your humidifier your um, hose or your tubing and your mask and also your adapters uh, if need be okay this poker phone is not too great at night I have traveled before to the southern Philippines in which I carried my auto buy level device without a humidifier just with a big RPS2 it's a ResMed battery and with an adapter and so that battery lasts uh, two days so it was good for me and I didn't need to use a humidifier because I stayed in a hut which is actually very humid also so no need for additional humidification well I hope this short video helps somebody especially when they you, you travel and if you have any questions concerns or any suggestions feel free to comment down below and subscribe or just give me a thumbs up thank you